YouTube. Well, welcome to Dumfries and Galloway. Today you join me at Loch Ken, which is in Scotland. It's a fantastic part of the world. This the scenery is absolutely outstanding. Uh, the conditions today are quite mild. Uh, a little bit of drizzle, but the swimming conditions are very calm. Today I'm here for a swimming event. I won't be taking part personally. However, there are lots of competitors at this event. It's an open water event for charity, um, an open swim, uh, cold water swim. And I'll get my terminology right here because I don't know the first thing about swimming, to be quite fair, but uh, I'm learning and I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, doing a bit more of this type of thing, uh, just to be out and about on location, filming different things, really. Um, Certainly this has an appeal for me, the fresh air, the countryside, the open water and I've swam twice and it's it's just liberating to get in that cold water and, and just feel at one with nature. In a wetsuit I might add, uh, I couldn't do it without a wetsuit. But uh, no, today should be a good day, uh, full of interviews with various people who are taking part in the, the, the event and um, yeah, let's have a good day. Catch you in a bit. Tell us what draws you to this, Sandra. Why, why have you come along to this event today? My mad friend Lois has roped me into this. So I wasn't really into open water swimming until earlier this year when my friend Lois said, why don't we do this for a laugh? So mm -hmm. I've done the Great North Swim earlier this year. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, heard about this and thought, why not give it a go? The weather's kind of turning a bit now, so I think um, this will probably be my last swim for the season. But we we'll go to Derwent Reservoir kind of every week and practice there. It does more for your mind, I think, than just swimming in a pool. Swimming in a pool now is just boring. Being out in the environment with beautiful mountains and scenery um, is just a fantastic experience. You can just switch off from all your worries and all you think about is doing your swim, and obviously time, every time you look up it's a different scene you know mountains and trees and sky whereas when you're in the pool there's nothing to look at so what um, what sort of distance are you going to cover today then 2k 2k is that have you got a personal best time for your 2k well i did the great north swim it was a mile and i did 48 minutes which is obviously i'm not breaking any records but I think if I can do under an hour, I'd be happy with that. Taking part is the main thing. That's right. It's all about taking part in the experience. Well, yeah. thanks very much for that interview today, Sandra. Good luck with the swim, and I hope you have a great day. Brilliant. Thank you. Well, everybody's getting uh, set for the brief for the swim this morning. So they've got to go through a few safety checks just to make sure everybody's present. Everybody knows the rules and the conditions. So the conditions are quite good at the moment. So hopefully it should be a very good swim. It's reasonably mild out there and uh, not too choppy. There is quite a bit of mist on the hills, but uh, I don't think that'll be a major concern to anybody once they're in the water. So yeah, today looks to be a good swim. Well, that's a safety brief over. Sandra's in the water now, so she's off for the swim. And uh, hope it's a good one. Five, four, three, two, one. see some of the people coming to events like this and you can tell the dedication and the determination to not only take part but to actually finish and finish within a good time so I have to say hats off to everybody um, it's amazing thank you very much good stuff have you smashed I, your personal I, best I, well I think so but I'm just dead chuffed that I did the 2k because I was only going to go in for the 1k so I thought I'll go for the 2k and see if I can do it so yeah I'm really delighted. Are you up for the next one? Absolutely. My god! 
Well done, yeah. I'm going to stress that to me, I came around to your left. Well done, yeah. Well done, Sandra, that was amazing. Are you alright? My arms are dead. Did you enjoy that? Well done, well done, you've done amazing. I was trying to break it down at the right. first one, fix the way around. And then I was like, I'm a third, I'm a third of the way around, then I'm half way around, two thirds of the way around, oh I'm nearly home. We are number 53. I made it alive. You did it, how did it feel, how did it feel? It was hard. When you're in the pool, you swim so far and then you can grab onto the wall. When you're doing that, there's nothing to grab onto. Um, so it is tiring, but there was a point where I was swimming and there was nobody else around us. It was really peaceful. Mm -hmm. And you're just in your own little world, just swimming along. And every time you look up, just beautiful scenery. And at one point the sun actually came out and the sun was there. So it was lovely and I feel like I've achieved stuff and I wasn't last so yeah over the moon if you like swimming um, and you go to the pool then this is another dimension to swimming you're not just swimming backwards and forwards you're swimming around the community is really good you meet loads of nice people who are all very like-minded and it's been out in the open air and what about the safety aspect? Did you feel quite safe when yeah. you were in the water? Yeah, I mean, yeah, in a wetsuit anyways, which is buoyant. So if you get tired, you just roll on, the, on your back. You don't have to do anything. You can just float in the water. And they had plenty of safety guys there in kayaks. So if you get really out of breath or something's not right, you just put your hand in the air and they'll sort you out. But um, no, it was great. So what's next for you then? What's your plans? My plans? Get dried. Go in there and have a massive big snarler of some sort. Um, and then um, I think season's coming to an end now, so maybe it's next year. Be get in the pool, practice my technique and try and get faster so that I'm not near the back. I want to be near the front next year. Well, you've done absolutely fantastic. Well done. It's been a great swim and uh, thanks for the interview. Need bother, man. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. <laughs> Conditions have been brilliant today for the swimmers. A little bit choppy further out, but uh, apart from that, I'm, I'm told it's been a very good swim. So congratulations to everybody. Well done. And uh, here's to the next event. Yeah. Well, we're just about to get ready for the afternoon swim now. This is a 4K circuit and it's called the Nutters Race. Uh, this morning was a, a 2K, two lap uh, swim. So hopefully it'll be a good swim this afternoon. The sun's come out now and uh, the conditions are still quite nice. So good luck to everybody. We're just going to go across to the briefing now. You've done really well, haven't you? Oh, you're joking, I can hardly stop. Well done. Well done, well done. that's great. It's hard. Oh, oh. I'm not last! <laughs> I'm not last! <laughs> well, that was the end of a perfect day's swim today. I think everybody enjoyed themselves as some fantastic results came through. I, um, I actually think I got away with that one quite lightly because I wasn't dragged into the water, which is really good. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, something different. 
and uh, until the next time, I'll catch you again. See you soon. Thanks for viewing. Bye for now.